you left in the compost here. You remember? It appeared like you were going to have a very long, long holiday. You were very excited. And it seemed as if it would never end. And then ask the parents, you are wondering what are we going to do with the boys when they come home? Huh? It also seemed to be a very long time that we, we don't know how it was going to be. But thank God it is over. Amen. It is over and it is another year. Now there are no form ones here. Because the form ones have graduated to form twos. The form twos have become form threes. And now those guys who are in form three now they are saying they are the oldest here. Yeah? And they are excited. I could see the excitement and the strength in this house. Amen. Because everybody wanted to give a testimony. Amen. Amen. And it is good. It is good to be alive. It is good to be vibrant. It is good to have health. Amen. Amen. And it is good that you are here in one. Now, serious business starts. And we are happy because this is your first Sunday. And you have honored us to come. And we set the ball rolling. Amen. Amen. It is our joy. I want to tell you this. The world has been shut out by this wall, the wall that is surrounding the school. It has been shut out so that you can concentrate with what you came to do. You came to learn. Forget everything else that is going outside there. It is an election period, campaigning is going on. There shall be a lot of things, a lot of discussions of what Batiani has done. Amen? But now, you have to work hard. Amen? You have to roll your sleeves and put up your socks. Because the Ministry of Education has gone and 390 uh, uh, degrees turn. Amen? Amen? And it is hard work and prayers. Amen? Amen. So let nobody cheat you. Forget everything else. You know, once you come here, you don't come with your, uh, with your home clothes. You wear uniform. Amen? So that the rich, they don't see their up, they don't show their affluence. And the poor, they don't show their poverty. You are all equal. And then you study. It does not matter wherever you came from. Excel in everything that you do. Hallelujah. Amen. That is through hard work, through study, through not uh, joking about. Everything is about seriousness. You are serious in the things that you do. God is going to reward you. And then you seek God. Amen. Amen. There's one non-examinable thing that you have to do in this school. All the other things you are allowed to do are examinable. The subjects that you do. But one non-examinable thing that is necessary for you to excel is to believe in God and to continue in praise, in worship, in prayer, and in fellowship. Amen? Amen. That is why we are here. To encourage you and to tell you that there is something that is in you. Something that is great. We did not deposit it there. It is there deposited by God. Paul was talking to his disciple called Timothy and he was telling him there is something in you but you have to start it up. You have to put it into praise. It is in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 2. Is it verse 2? Can you check for me? Is that verse 2 or verse 6? 2 Timothy chapter 1. Second Timothy chapter one. Is it verse six or verse two? Read verse two. Timothy, my beloved child, grace must and be from God, the Father and the Son, Jesus our Lord. I thank God for whom I serve in the fear of God. Read verse 6. Amen. That is the verse I was looking for. It is in, the, in verse 6. That rekindle. That word is rekindle. In other versions, it says star up. In other versions, it says fan. You know, fanning like the way you do a jiko, you find something in frame. Hallelujah. Yes. That is what Timothy is being told to do. To a gift that is already in him. And I'm telling you, he knew there is a gift deposited by God. And it is fanable into flames 
through the salvation that you have gotten. And if you are not saved, this is the year for you to get saved. And before the form has come, are they reporting on Monday? No. Huh? No. Are they reporting Monday? No. Is it tomorrow Monday? No. No. Yes, then you tell me, yes, they are reporting on Monday. Yes. <laughs> Although, okay, tomorrow is Monday, so they are coming tomorrow. Yes. By the time the form has come, let them find you safe, so that you do not go through that issue of from ones who are coming and they are already saved that you are not. Amen. Amen. And you have been here all this week. You know, at least have, the least who have been here for one year. I have seen the papers that have been passed around. And the papers are saying that we are going to minister to you up to 11 a.m. We came here at 9. Amen. We have been here two hours. We shall have been here two hours, right? We came at 9. In fact, earlier than 9. Am I correct? So, we are going to keep time. Hallelujah. I could talk much, but I want now. We know that you are school and you need to keep time. Amen. Uh, I'm not a preacher. The preacher is going to stand before you. And we believe that he's going to lay a foundation for the rest of the year, 2017. You are the recipients of the word. When you put your do like this. Do like this, everybody. Assume that you are holding a grains of uh, rice. When you hold grains of rice, and everybody puts theirs down, and we count them, not everybody is going to have the same number, correct? It sh you shall pick according to the size of your risk of, the, of, of your of your of your of your of your of your, of your, of your correct? And what I'm saying is, when the preacher stands here to deliver the word, you shall deceive to the measure of your expectations. Amen. But do not leave without anything. And for all the Sundays that you are going to invite preachers here, and any other day that you are going to have preachers stand before you, never allow yourself to leave a place where the word of God is spoken empty. Write something so that you can refer to that day and you say, on this day, this one was preached at least a word. One word, one word is enough to change your life. Amen. Amen. So, pay attention and let God speak to you today because he is here and he has got a word for you. You might miss the sentence, but get the word. You might miss the paragraph, but get that word. It is for you and it will help you to find that which is within you into what you are the, the, um, programmed to be. Amen. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to you. How great you are. How great you are. Then sings my soul.
And you cannot believe in God if you don't have the faith of God. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. So it is by hearing the word of God that your faith grows up. Amen. It is by hearing the word of God that you yourself, as a spiritual man, you grow from level to level. But let us do it. So, for you to trust in God, you need to believe in God. And we are going to read from the book of Psalms 125. <coughs> are we on there? The Bible says from verse 1, in verse 1, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. When I was free, son. Wale wana utengemea bwana ni kama mulima zayuni. They cannot be moved. When I was free. The word of God says those who trust in the Lord cannot be moved. This means that there are things that are said to move us. There are things that are said in life to move you. Why are they said to move you? They are said to move you from the place of God. God has called you to put you in a good place. But there are things that are said to move you away from the good things away from the good place where God has created you to be. But that's what's good. For you to be sick, it's not your place. It is your place for you to be healthy. It is your place for you to believe in Christ Jesus. But that's what's good, son. So there are things that are said to move you. But the Bible says that those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They cannot be moved. Witches are set by the devil to move you. Sorcerers are used by the devil to move you. Sometimes they move you, and if you don't move, they look for another means even to kill you. But the Bible says, those who trust in the Lord, praise the name of the living God. But the Bible says, those who trust in the Lord, praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, those who trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. They cannot be moved. When the enemy comes up to move you, you cannot be moved because you are planted in the Lord. When you are planted in the Lord, you are strongly planted. You are permanently planted. You cannot be moved by men. You cannot be moved by demons. You cannot be moved by witches. You cannot be moved by circumstances. You cannot be moved by stresses. You cannot be moved by challenges. Nothing can move you away from the place of God if you are planted in God through trusting the Lord. What else was the first In the second verse, the Bible says that at the mountains around Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. What else was the first time? Have you ever been surrounded one day by other enemies? All my friends. Praise the name of the living God. I want you to know that according to what we have read, the way the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds those who trust in him. So when enemies come from north, from south, from all directions, they will get that you are protected, you are surrounded by the power of God. Remember the other day I told you that God is not an image. God is a spirit. When the angels of God have surrounded you, you are not able to see them by your physical eyes. So the Bible says that those who trust in the Lord, the Lord surrounds them. How does God surround them? And God is God. You are surrounded by the presence of God. When the presence of God surrounds you, sickness cannot see you. When the presence of God surrounds you, anything that is negative 
which is set by the devil, because there is nothing negative that comes from God, cannot see you, but as a son. So, I want you to set your mind in Christ, as you are beginning the year 2017. It doesn't matter how much able, or it doesn't matter what you may have as a source of what you need in this year. You need so many things as a student. You need school fees. You need early. You cannot be able, you cannot concentrate, you cannot prosper, you cannot excel in what you are doing in school if you are not in good early. But this was the first time. So, you need something to surround you. You need something to protect you. You need something to keep you. And you can have nothing that can protect you. You can have nothing that can keep you if it is not from God. Even if it will keep you, I want to assure you according to the word of God, you will be moved. But the only place where you can stand and you will not be moved, it is only trusting in the Lord. 